Hello, and welcome back to another Bear With Me with me, Bear Elliot. So yesterday I posted a video in regards to homophobia in the geek world, and boy did it ever spark quite a little debate online. Now, I'll tell you up front that I did receive a lot of positive reactions to yesterday's vlog, but then I got a lot of negative responses. Now, one of the most interesting thing is, as you know, I pointed out one group in particular from Philadelphia, the Comic Geek Speak. Now, I've posted on their website and I've also posted on their YouTube channel and so forth, and I've received no response, but interestingly enough, my post was deleted from their Facebook page. So yeah, who's taking the vow of silence? Let's go with the Comic Geek Speak. I guess they're having a trouble speaking right now in regards to their homophobic statement and reaction to calling North Star Pink and then the laughter that erupted from that. But hey, I have my iPad here and I wanted to go ahead and give you a couple of the reviews that I got. So this one comes from the comicbookmovie.com. Now, interesting with this particular one, there was several other comments that I actually took a screenshot of and I posted on Bear With Me, the Facebook page. Well, those are interesting because those have also disappeared. Several of them that posted last night some very, very harsh criticism in regards to myself and homosexuality in general, those have magically disappeared today when the light of Sunday showed up. Maybe it was an act of God. Hmm, who knows? So let's uh, let's go with the ones that they have posted on here that are still visible um, as of right now. Let's see. The first one is in response. This one came from Troy Simpson. And Troy wrote, or you could grow a freaking spine. So he must be in regards to me and I need to grow a spine. Well, I have one and that's why I posted it. Thanks, Troy, for your response. Uh, next we have with uh, Brian Hodge. Now Brian writes, while I disagree with the other two postings, which those postings are the ones that disappeared, I believe they were the one that called me fag and there was another one that incited that I should die. Well, you got one right. I am a fag and uh, thank you for correctly identifying me. Thanks, uh, person that I wish I could give you credit for, but you uh, deleted your post there. I did look at his page last night, and he didn't look like he was um, very old. So we'll go with that he hasn't matured yet. Yes, because that's that's pretty juvenile. I mean, you're basically just describing something correctly. Yes. Um, although I'm technically not really a fag because a fag is a lit cigarette or is a cigarette in the UK. I don't live there. So please, UK members, please tell me what exactly a fag is. But here in the United States, we kind of pretty much assume what that is. But uh, from Brian Hodge, we have, while I disagree with the other two postings, I am not a homophobe simply because I disagree with same-sex unions. I don't know then what it calls you then if you're not, if you're against gay unions and homophobia is the fear of gay, and you're against gay unions, okay, um, we can disagree without any tolerance needing to be forced to acceptance. Now, this is interesting because forced to acceptance, so you're being forced to accept that people have the same equal rights as everyone else. Thanks for your comment, Brian. Yes. Then forced acceptance it is because it's only right that all people in the United States have the same rights as everyone else. Thanks, but we'll work on your definition of homophobia. Um, let's see. This one came from Adam Jared, and Adam Jared writes, Keep homosexual homosexuality and politics out of comics. This is a major pass. Now, Politics in comics, basically comics are nothing but politics. There's the politics between Batman and Superman. There's sexuality in comics because look at Wonder Woman's costume over the years or let's say Power Girls with her humongous spot in her chest that just shows her humongous cleavage. You have no problem with that, but you have a problem with homosexuality. Now, 
Some people say that uh, that it's just simply a reflection of the times that we're showing homosexuality. Homosexuality has been around since the dawn of time. There's only one species on the planet that has homophobia, and that would be the human species. So uh, I don't see a lot of dogs like running around with picket signs saying, down with gays. So maybe we should work on maybe eliminating homosexuality the in regards to homophobia from comics. Let's remove homophobia, not homosexuality from comics. Let's work on that. So along with these comments that I've received were a lot of interesting, like I should die and just like criticisms of me as a person. Bring it. I don't really care. You can say whatever you want about me. Um, I'm sure it's something that's been said to my face or behind my back. I don't really care. All I really care is that we live in a society now where I have the exact same rights as everyone else in the United States. But just like racism, homophobia is out there running rampant and it's growing because the political and the religious factions are, they only have one last possibility to fight us. And that's with homophobia. That's the fear of the unknown. There's nothing to be fearful in regards to the homosexual community, the LGBT community, we are based on love. Love is life. So if you don't like love, you don't like life. And that's why I'm doing this vlog series, is that we need to eliminate homophobia. Homophobia is our biggest and baddest enemy right now. And it's running rampant in the geek community. I've seen it when I walk into comic book stores. I've experienced it myself. It needs to end. And this just reaffirms that there's a lot of wimpy people that can hide behind their keyboards and make a lot of statements. And as soon as I address, hey, thanks for the feedback and I'll definitely make sure that I provide this to everyone, you magically disappear. So, mm, wonder who needs to grow a backbone and a spine now. So, hey, keep fighting that great fight out there, LGBT community. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the strides that we're making every day. And let's go out there, educate those people that we are not to be scared of, that we are to be loved, and we are to be respected. And there should be a legitimate reflection of us, just like in society, in the geek community. So be geek, be proud, be out there, buddies. And until next time, bye, Cublets. I could go out in the dark and see you calling my name I hear you shouting, hear you calling, but it's not the same Every word that you are throwing right into my back Doesn't matter to me, cause I'm keeping my trick Let me go Let me go